Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, The Exploring Medico. Today we will discuss about inflammation. Definition of inflammation it is defined as the local response of tissue, living tissue to injury from any agents. The two types of inflammation, acute inflammation and chronic inflammation. Acute inflammation lasting less than two weeks. Main features of acute inflammation accumulation of fluid and plasma at the affected site intravascular activation of platelets polymorph polymorphonuclear neutrophils as inflammatory cells chronic inflammation lasting for longer duration signs of inflammation rubber tumor color dollar and loss of function acute inflammatory response to components Vascular events and cellular events. Vascular events. Alteration in microvasculature is the earliest response to tissue injury. Alteration includes hemodynamic changes and altered vascular permeability. Hemodynamic changes. Cell injury leads to transient vasoconstriction of arterioles followed by progressive vasodilation. Thus, increased blood volume and increased in local hydrostatic pressure. This is responsible for swelling at local site of acute inflammation and stasis of microcirculation. Thus, increased con concentration of red cells and increased blood viscosity followed by peripheral orientation of leukocytes. Altered vascular permeability in the around the inflamed tissue, there is accumulation of edema fluid in the interstitial compartment which comes from blood plasma by escape through endothelial wall of peripheral vascular bed. Fluid balance is maintained by two opposing sets of forces Forces that cause outward movement of fluid and force that cause inward movement of fluid. Outward movement of fluid, for example, intravascular hydrostatic pressure and colloid osmotic pressure of interstitial fluid. Inward movement of fluid, for example, intravascular colloid osmotic pressure and hydrostatic pressure of interstitial fluid. Cellular events, two components. Exudation of leukocyte and phagocytosis. Exudation of leukocyte, escape of leukocytes from the lumen of microvasculature to the interstitial tissue is the most important feature of inflammatory response. In acute inflammation, polymorph nuclear neutrophils comprise the first line of body defense followed later by phagocytes. Changes leading, in, leading to migration of leukocyte are as changes in blood flow, rolling and adhesion, transmigration and chemotaxis, phagocytosis after the site of infection has been infiltrated by leukocytes, process of clearing off on the microbial agents is set in action, defined as the process of cellular engulfment of solid particle material. Main two types of phagocytic cells polymorph nuclear neutrophils and circulating monocytes and mononuclear. Phagocytosis of microbe involves three steps, recognition and attachment, engulfment, killing and degradation. Recognition of attachment. Phagocytosis is initiated by expression of cell surface receptors like mannose receptors and scavenger receptor. Opsonization is the process that where the agent has been coated with immunoglobulin and factor C3b. Opsonins established bond between bacteria and phagocytic cell. Engulfment Opsonins particle is accomplished by formation of cytoplasmic pseudopods around the part particle, particle due to activation of actin filaments beneath cell wall envelop in it in phagosome. Eventually, plasma membrane enclosing the particle breaks from the cell surface so that membrane-lined 
phagosome becomes internalized and in the cell and lies free in the cell cytoplasm phagosome fuses with one or more lysosomes and forms phag phagolysosome and degradation major function of phagocytes microbes after being killed by antibacterial substances are degraded by hydrolytic enzymes mechanism intracellular mechanism and extracellular mechanism com intracellular mechanism commonly by oxidative mechanism nitric oxide lysosomal granules reactive oxygen species extracellular mechanism activated leukocyte neutrophil extracellular traps and immune mechanism inflammatory cells polymorph eosinophil basophil lymphocyte plasma cell and monocyte systemic effects of acute inflammation fever irritation of center of thermoregulation leukocytosis it increased number of wbc bacteria neutrophils parasites eosinophils viruses lymphocytosis leukopenia decreased number of wbc viral infections salmonella infection rickettsia rickettsiosis immunological reactions increased level of some substances outcome of acute inflammation resolution restoration of normal limited injury like chemical substances neutralization normalization of vascular permeability apoptosis of inflammatory cells lymphatic drainage second healing by scar tissue destruction and fibrinous inflammation third progression into chronic inflammation